Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share with you uh, my design team projects that I created. Um, I used um, My Mind's Eye Find Your Wings and Fly collection and it's their newer collection and it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to just show you the supplies I used. <clears throat> First, I used some paper balloons um, from Kaiser Craft and um, I've used these just about in almost all of my design team projects because they're so nice. I love these flowers. Um, they are in the dusty pink color, the sea breeze, and the honey color. Okay, so I used those three. I also used the um, decorative brads that come with the, the collection. Some really nice images on there. Um, I love the bird with the top hat. It's really cute. Some buttons. Some that are chipboard and some that are just regular buttons and they're all self-adhesive. The layered stickers, you can tell I used a couple of those. The enamel dots. The alpha and word uh, stickers and these come in all of these colors. So you get, um, let's see, two, four, six, eight sheets of stickers. Um, and uh, they're really nice and they have really nice words. Um, I used a couple of them, so really cute. Then I used the coordinating uh, chipboard elements. And you can see the colors on that. Um, there's that bird with the, the top hat. It's just darling. And lastly, I used the, um, the actual paper kit that includes 12 sheets of uh, double-sided cardstock and a coordinating um, sticker sheet. So here that is, and there's the top hats, and the, it's got hot air balloons, roses and flowers, some banners, some music paper, and of course the little bird. So it's really, really super cute, and here's a, just a little glimpse of that. I apologize for the glare. I also used um, some basil textured cardstock and I apologize I don't have the names for these but there's a turquoise color there's like a smoky gray and then I just used some um, craft cardstock as well from the store so well, let me show you what I created <clears throat> first I'll show you my cards the first card I made I used that smoky gray textured uh, basil cardstock in um, a six by six size and I layered some of the papers and what I did first was I used my just my uh, Tim Holtz distress tool if I can find it here um, I used that to distress the edges first and then I <clears throat> I can't find it it was here a second ago oh, here it is okay Sorry, I used this to do the distress the edges first of just about all of the pieces. And then I went back over it with Walnut Stain um, Distressing by Tim Holtz. So I did that and I layered the two papers and I absolutely love this lined paper um, with the doily and the stamping. It's just a really, a really cute um, uh, image on there. Then I used a, this is an EK Success uh, border punch um, to do this little trim here and then I layered one of the chipboard pieces that I just dressed as well and I put that up on foam um, adhesive so it would be off the page a little bit and it says oh happy day and then I used those Kaiser Ca craft paper blooms and then I used a random flower punch for my stash with some of the design paper to make this flower and added a brad in the center that has a little rose and you can see that Okay, and then these are some chipboard pieces also from the chipboard uh, elements sheet and this one happens to have a little heart on it so I just used some glossy accents on that to give it some shine. And then down here are some of the decorative brads in the coordinating colors. Okay, and on the inside <clears throat> I just added some of the lined paper that I distressed um, both with the tool and the walnut stain so I could write the sentiment in there or message. Okay, so there's that one. Then my next card, I used that turquoise colored um, basil cardstock, and um, this one I believe is a four by five and a half card, or four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And I rounded with my corner chomper the um, the bottom corners 
Then I layered the um, craft card stock uh, on here, and I did put that up on some zots, so it kind of gives it some dimension, but not um, not so much like with foam squares. And I added three pieces of design paper that I distressed just with my tool. I didn't ink any of the edges. And I added this sticker from the sticker sheet. This is a little hot air balloon. And then, let's see, what else did I do? Um, then I added these layered stickers um, that spell the word soar and added three of the decorative brads that coordinate with that. So I like how that turned out. Oh, and then I did use a, a gel pen, a white gel pen, to do some faux stitching dash lines all the way around the edge. So if you can see that. And then on the inside, I just added some more of that craft cardstock and did the same stitching along the edge. Okay. And then lastly, I did a two page layout. <clears throat> And let me show you this side of it first. And what I did was I um, I first used this uh, designer paper here, and I cut a strip of it, and I used my Fiskars um, scallop border punch, and I did that all the way around on the top and bottom of both pages, and then I distressed everything with um, walnut stain, and then I had this. Um, large piece of paper which is one of the sheets from the the uh, paper kit and I wanted to make it really vintage by having the edges torn but I don't trust I guess myself to do it um, just freehand um, because it always I don't know it never comes out right so a long time ago I bought this at the store um, this is a I don't even know what it's called but I do know that it is from Fiskars and it's a, a an edge um, herring guide or something like that. I don't know exactly the name of it. But all you do is you put put it down on your paper and you hold it down and then just take the paper and you just it just automatically just cuts in that uh, pattern. So it I did that all the way around uh, this paper. And uh, again I went over that with walnut stain and it just it, it looks really nice. I like how that looks because then I would have torn into this design I think if I had tried to uh, do it um, freehand. So, um, over here has some of the designer paper that I cut into look like a tab. I just rounded the corners up here, and I had added a sticker on top that says, This is our Happily Ever After. Let me see if I can zoom in a little so you can see more of the details. Um, I did add some of the enamel dots on either side of that sticker. Over here, this is a little cutout from one of the pages. Um, uh, um, there's a sheet that has a bunch of these, like, three three by four cards and I made this one look like a pocket so I adhered it just on these three sides and added some enamel dots down here and then inside I tucked in these two um, pattern papers and I rounded the corners of those to make them look like tags um, these are just the reverse side of each other and I added some of the decorative buttons and then I added the sticker from the sticker sheet that says perfect and I absolutely loved how that looked and then up here I added a layered sticker which is the hot air balloon and you can see the dimension on that. I'm sorry my lighting isn't very good. Uh, but underneath that I added a sticker that says Love You Lots and added an enamel dot at the bot at the end of that um, arrow. So turned out really cute. And I forgot to mention I used um, this kind of a mustardy yellow um, colored textured cardstock from Basil as well. Okay, and then page two. Um, same thing as the first one where I did the scalloped edge border on top and bottom. And then again, I used um, my little edge um, guide to tear the edges of this large pattern paper here. And then I matted two 5x7 uh, photo spots here. This will be a really nice um, way to to um, to have some some uh, to map the photos on here. And then I tucked underneath that first paper this little brad uh, with a little tag that says up, up, and away. And it's got the little bird on there and a yellow um, brad. Then down here I added some uh, stickers, a circle one and then this arrow one that says the best day. And I added some enamel dots at the end of that. And then up here these are some um, also from the brads sheet. And it's just some of the pattern paper cut into banners. And I just added some, some twine up there to hang them from. So, 
really kind of simple on that side, but um, I really, really liked and enjoyed working with this collection because it is so pretty and the colors are just very nice, um, very versatile, and you can do so many things with it. So thank you so much for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.